मॉड्यूल थ्री ऑफ द केमिकल टेक्नोलॉजी कोर्स लेक्चर वन एंड लेक्चर टू वी डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू पल्प एंड पेपर इंडस्ट्री इन मॉड्यूल टू वी डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट पल्पिंग एंड ब्लीचिंग प्रोसेस वॉट आर द एडवांसमेंट डेट हैज टेक प्लेस इन केस ऑफ द ब्लीचिंग प्रोसेस नाउ विल बी डिस्कसिंग इन द लेक्चर थ्री ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल अबाउट द रिकवरी ऑफ द केमिकल्स बिकॉज द ब्लैक लिकर विच आर जनरेटिंग Um, from the pulping process that has to be the chemicals that has to be recovered and the lignin the organic part also that has to be utilized for generation of the um, power or the steam so that is one of the very important section um, uh, in case of the um, craft uh, pulping process or in case of the bagas because in case of the agro agro based uh, raw materials were not using the recovery of the chemicals but now because of the environmental problem that has been made mandatory for all the agro based material either to go for the recovery part or many of the mills as they have shifted to the waste paper so the coverage of the lecture that will be introduction importance of the recovery furnace what are the various terms used in the recovery of the chemicals evaporation section and further concentration of the black liquor which we are getting from the washing section of the pulping process because in case of the washing section the concentration of the black liquor varying very widely that is around if the good washing is there that may be around 15 to 16 percent if the bed if the washing is not proper that will be dilute black liquor around 12 to 13 percent will be getting so uh, because as we are firing at a concentrated black liquor and if the concentration is high definitely that will improve the efficiency of the recovery furnace so the evaporation and the uh, further concentration of the black liquor that is very important then we will discuss about the uh, recovery furnace and then because you see the esp electrostatic precipitator that is the integral part of the furnace or any boiler just to remove the particular particulate matter but here in case of the uh, recovery furnace the importance of the esp is there because we are separating the sodium sulfate from the flue gas which we are getting from the furnace and that sodium sulfate is recovered from the flue gases and it is continuously it is fed to the again recovery furnace so that the sodium sulfate that is converted to sodium sulfide dissolving tank where we are dissolving the smelt which are getting from the furnace and then the green liquor production is there and that green liquor because green liquor is more sodium carbonate so that has to be converted into sodium hydroxide because our requirement is more sodium hydroxide and the sodium sulfide because and this is not participating in the uh, sodium carbonate so castizing section means the castizing of the green liquor using sodium uh, lime that we are doing then clarification separation of the lime sludge and the lime sludge re burning because the lime sludge that is a waste and the huge amount of the lime sludge in the form of calcium carbonate that being produced in case of the uh, craft pulping processes or any paper mill which are having the craft pulping or even in case of the bagas because now the lime sludge re burning that has been made mandatory so as i told you earlier also that the chemical delivery system is an integral part of any pulping paper mill and the efficiency of the chemical recovery plays an important role in the overall economics of the because whatever we are losing the chemical that will have the direct impact on the overall economy so the proper running of the furnace that is also uh, very important efficiency of the chemical recovery Units in terms of the thermal efficiency, energy recovery, conversion of the thermal energy to electric energy has tremendous impact on the overall economy of the pulp. Because one of the important, uh, you see, in case of the pulping, you are using huge amount of the steam. From where the steam is will come. So most of the paper mill they are having the cogeneration, they are having thermal power plant. At the same time, they are have, having the recovery furnace from where they are generating the steam. and that is steam that being utilized in the process or it can be also it find the your boiler and that will 
boiler steam and that will go for the generation of the electrical energy. <coughs> Although the earlier agro based mills were not having recovery furnace due to the high silica content of the black liquor and the smaller capacity because one of the as I discussed for the introductory part of the chemical process industry, the 1970 that was the era of the industrialization where the mini plant concept that came into mini cement plant, mini paper mill, mini fertilizer plant, mini refinery that concept came and same thing was the in case of the paper mill also we started using lot of the small agro based paper mill where the earlier because it was considered a black liquor recovery of the chemicals from the black liquor that will be not economical because of the small capacity because of the more dilution because of the high silica content but now that has been made mandatory as per the mandate as well as the center portion control I mean the environment Paris will have to go for the so that there is no excuse for that because sometimes because the mills were saying it will be not economical uh, the infrastructure facility or the because of the poor economics, all those things, they, all type of the actually excuses that was been given earlier. So, recovery of the chemicals from black liquor is very important for the overall economy of the paper industry, whether it is the um, agro based or the forest based raw material. So, these are the various sections that is um, in case of the craft recovery plant, that is the evaporation section evaporation and the further concentration for that we are having the long tube evaporator, 5 to 6 effect evaporator because always we are using the fibrous material that is going along the black liquor, sometimes choking of the evaporator tubes are also there. So, one normally one of the evaporator they are bypassing and continuous cleaning of the evaporator tube that is very important otherwise that is also affecting the whole economy. So, direct contact evaporators are also there, but normally the direct contact evaporator that is not recommended when you, if you are interested in the control of emission control of the uh, sulphur compounds, because here they are coming in direct content of the acid gases and so the generation of the mercurians are there. Cascade evaporators we are having cyclones and eventually they are also some of the mills earlier they were having the only cyclone and the combined with the venturi scrubber where the both the concentration separation of the flue gases plus at the same time the whatever the um, your sodium sulphide was there that was scrubbed from the flue gases. So, in some of the older mills they were having the only this combination the cyclone and the venturi, but now the new beta of the furnaces they are all having the ESP electrostatic precipitator. Uh, so, after the evaporation that is going to the recovery furnace from the recovery furnace to dissolving tank and after dissolving that is the castration, clarification and the lime surgery burning. So, this is a typical flow diagram of a craft recovery system where the after the three stage um, or the four stage because now uh, as you told you the concentration of the black liquor that is very important from the recovery point of view. If you are having the more dilution, diluted black liquor, then the steam consumption in the crop recovery, especially in the evaporation that will vary. So, in order to have now we are having the four stage brown stock washer and from the after the brown stock washer, the black liquor actually here the black liquor should be the black liquor from the uh, your three stage or the four stage bound master that is going to um, evaporators that as I told you that is normally we are having the long tube evaporator in case of the craft process with the backward fit arrangement because here not we are using the forward fit because it is becoming highly viscous. So, in between the at after the three effects we are adding the feed, so that is the backward feed arrangement is there. So, after the it is going to the direct contact evaporator or the further in some of the mills that has been eliminated from the environmental point of view 
and that the flue gas should not come in the contact with the back wall. So, direct. So, because here you see the furnaces, the gases are going in the direct and the heat of the gases that is being utilized for raising the temperature for the evaporation and finally, the product is going to the ESP electrostatic precipitator or it may be combination of cyclone or the venturi scrubber, but normally as I told you that the most of the modern mills they are having the ESP because the recovery of the sodium sulphate from the free gas that is very important for the overall economy because that sodium sulphate that we are again reusing otherwise you will have to add the makeup sodium sulphate because that is sodium sulphate that is converted to sodium sulphide. Because during the process lot of this losses of the sulphur compounds are there. So, how to make up so for that sodium sulphide and 2 SO4 plus carbon in presence of the carbon that is generating sodium sulphide. So, this is the furnace part and the furnace again it is very complicated we are having the boiler part we are having the um, uh, three zones are there drying and the burning and then the finally, the waste utilization in the boiler where we are generating and the I will show the diagram of the furnace also and after that it is going to dissolving tank where we are dissolving and the weak liquor which we are getting from the castigation section that is going to the dissolving tank where we are getting the green liquor containing higher percentage of uh, your sodium carbon. And this green liquor again is going to the part separation of the tracks which is there Dex that has to be then it is going to find re, because for converting the sodium carbonate to sodium hydroxide we need lime. So, in many of the mills even they are having the lime kids they are producing their own lime because whatever the lime sludge earlier because the some of the problems I uh, will discuss later in the other slides about the why the lime sludge reporting that was not done earlier. So, slaker where we are adding the lime and after that it is going to castigizing tank where the uh, some time at temperature around 90 degrees centigrade that we are maintaining and castigizing the action is taking place and then it is going to um, washing of the because after the castigizing the castigizing liquor that is going to the uh, clarifier and after the clarifier because this we are separating the white liquor we call it the white liquor again it is going to the diester and the sludge which we are getting from this it is going to the mud washer um, and after that is going to the rotary filter and the finally the lime sludge cake that is separated and the liquor which you are getting from the rotary filter that is being used recycling for the in the mud washer. So, these are the term already I discuss about the uh, causticity, cost uh, Casticizing efficiency, steam economy that is very important as I know the evaporation per kg of the steam that is very important in the overall economy of the evaporator reduction Na2S divided by Na2SO4 plus N2S overall recovery recover means uh, the recovery is equal to black liquor stock plus fresh liquor consumed because whatever the chemicals that you are recovering that is coming because here the term of the NOH and other thing that will be there. So, this will be the overall recovery and that overall recovery that has to be 95 plus if you want to have the better economy. Uh, this is the generation of the black liquor, 1 ton of the black liquor that will generate 2.2 tons of the steam and the as I told you the concentration of the black liquor that may be around um, it may be 15 to 16 percent if you are having the uh, very good washing, if it is less washing, not better washing. So, normally that problem is there in case of the agro base that again I am going to discuss in detail. So, black liquor solids 1.3 tons per ton of the pulp, weak black liquor per ton of the pulp 10 to 12 m cube that is the actually again it is changing depending upon the efficiency of the washing type of the washers you are having. If it more dilute more black liquor weak black liquor will be generating the less this is the calorific value uh, 
as you see the one of the important aspect in case of the why we are going for the recovery because the black liquor that is containing about the 70 percent of organic 30 percent of the inorganic and the weak black liquor there is the sodium content residual alkali content so these are the some of the characteristics of the black liquor uh, one more development that has taken place because the emission of the markham trend that is very peculiar in if you go to the any crowd pulping mill you will find the smell of the markham trend there so black liquor oxidation that has been become integral part of the recovery section in most of the mills although in the indian condition we are not using earlier for but now uh, if you want to reduce the emission of the markup tent then you will have to go for the black liquor oxidation so oxidation of the black liquor by air reduces the emission of the uh, odorous sulfur compound because before that it is converted to sodium sulfide sodium thiosulfate mercury and other sulfur compounds oxidize into less volatile chemical both because there are two types of the black liquor oxidation system that has been in covered one is the weak black liquor weak black liquor means uh, before going to the evaporator if you are having the black liquor oxidation then the emission that may be less but if you are having the concentrated black liquor then definitely it is after the concentration so in both the cases the both the process have been used but normal weak black liquor and that was the earlier very common uh, this is the evaporation because as I told you the we are getting a weak black liquor concentration of the weak black liquor that will vary and the outlet that will be around 40 to 50 percent depending upon the top suppose in Indian condition where the more bamboo we are using in case of the bamboo we are having the higher silica so the uh, your range of the concern the final concentration that may be less so in long term we are getting around 45 to 50 40 to 45 you can say but if you are having the soft tube definitely you can go for higher concern normally 5 to 6 evaporator uh, as the evaporator become highly viscous further concentration is done in the direct contact evaporator another development that has been because just to avoid the direct contact of a falling film evaporator where the concentrated black liquor uh, is in the form of the film and the evaporation is taking place and so the concent high concentration you can so the choking problem of the tube for the high viscous that is actually the we are able to overcome come by the falling film evaporator uh, after the evaporation concentrate the concentrated black liquor that is uh, sprayed in the furnace where black liquor is incinerated to yield smelt and the flue gases and this is smelt that is containing the very useful chemicals which we are recovering in the subsequent stages. So flue gases a typical recovery furnace these are the some of the part air preheating because normally in any boiler you see the preheater economizer where the flue gases that will be used for the air preheating economy uh, water economizer the water which is going to boiler furnace boiler cyclone venturi or the electrolytic space these are the some of the part of the uh, a typical recovery furnace so these are the actually the concentrated black liquor when you are spraying in the uh, furnace so these are the some of the stage that is reducing zone in the bottom to burn the organic drying zone oxidation zone this is a typical actually the where the venturi is shown then cyclone or it may be even after the cyclone that may it may go to the esp also so the here black liquor that is being actually the sprayed concentrated black liquor and the burning that is taking place here we are taking that is also the preheated steam water is also preheated in the economizer and so the steam is generated and that steam we are using for the power generation or for the in the diester where the for the cooking we need the steam uh, this is the reaction a 
large number of the reaction that is taking place and if you see the in all the reaction Na2CO3 that is form uh, the percentage of Na2CO3 is that more and at the same time sometimes the sodium sulphate is formed from the Na2S and that is it sodium sulphate again it is converted to Na2S and which is coming along with the um, NaOH and Na2C3 in the your green liquor and so this is the how the reaction that is taking place and the after the uh, here actually the continuous loss of the sulphur compounds are there. So what we are doing we are adding the sodium sulphate which is again converted to sodium sulphide. Uh, then dissolving where the smell that is being dissolved and the green, we are getting the green liquor. This is the about the casticizing section where the casticizing of the green liquor with lime to produce white liquor is there. So, we are producing the white liquor at the same time what is happening with the reaction of sodium hydrog sodium carbonate with the COS and NOH and the CSCO3 with calcium carbonate that is the pure calcium carbonate that we are getting, but you see the one of the problem that was there in case of the distress because of the use of the bamboo or other agro based raw material, silica content that is high in case of the lime sludge. And so the lime sludge of uh, to produce lime that is the reburning of the lime sludge to produce that is now it has become the uh, mandatory to go for the lime sludge. Because earlier I remember in Orient paper mill they used to have this lime kiln for producing lime. And so after that again some problem was there because of the high silica that was making the coating of the silica and the so um, your uh, calcium uh, the sludge and so the because of the sometimes the sodium content of the sludge that was also creating problems. So, all those problems that complicated the reburning and the um, your available lime which are uh, we, got, we are getting in the case of the lime that was less. And another factor in case of the lime such reburning is that we are getting the lime at cheaper rate than what we are producing. So, lime sludge reburning was not done in the in India earlier due to the high silica content and higher cost of the lime than the market lime. Because once you are getting a thing at the lower why to go to produce. But at the same time if you want to meet the environmental standards, if you want to uh, have the less environmental problem, then you will have to compromise with the cost also. So, that is the how the again some of the mills they started reburdening of the lime surge they stop the reburning again because of the environmental pressure again they have gone for the uh, lime sludge reburning and then now the lime kiln has become integral part. So, for that the either you can have the rotary lime kiln or the fluidized bed lime kilns are now being used. Uh, this is the fluidized bed actually the lime kiln that we are having for the creating the lime mud that is going to the fluidized bed. And so, the some of the problems are inherent in case of the uh, lime kiln that is eliminated here with the fluidized and finally, we are getting the lime and so that lime again that can be used. And this is the new development that has taken place in case of the lime sludge recording. Otherwise, the earlier it was the uh, rotary kiln that was being used. Recovery of the chemicals from the agro based meal. As I told you, the recovery of the chemicals in agro based meal that has become a that became problematic because all the black liquor which was generated of the pumping, people were discharging as such to the water stream or to the river stream or the small flow of the water was there into the nalas and other things. And so the and because the concentrated agro based mills were there in western part of the UP, in Punjab and Haryana. So, a lot of the problem was there because the lignin that is giving the uh, brown color to the water. And so, even if you put one drop of the lignin, 
black liquor to the one bucket water that will be color. So, this was the problem all the color all the black liquor even at the same time they were losing also the valuable chemicals which are going along the and the valuable organic. So, that was the actual the problem in case of the utilization of the uh, initial stage of the agro based meal. With the shortage of the forest based raw material as I told you earlier and preserve the forest the paper industry in Asia and other parts of the world is forced to use non wood fibers raw material. China they are using the huge amount of the agro based paper mill, but one of the advantage they are having their coal is better and the quality of lime is also better. So, that is one of the advantage they are having, but uh, agro based mill in India and the China well developed in comparison to other part of the world. Uh, India is the leading country in using the substantial portion of the non wood fiber. So, they are also helping in the your sustainable development of the industry, sustainable development of the paper industry with the using of the waste material that is a fibrous raw, agro based raw materials which are not being used earlier that was either it was burnt or it was just used by the food. So, the, this is the how the development that has taken place in case of the agro base, but the uh, lime stress the recovery of the chemicals that was problematic in case of the uh, your agro based paper mill because of the high silica content which is there in case of the uh, your black liquor. So, that was the problem and as the era of in 1970s that was the era of industrialization after the 50 we got the independence and the morph units came and then the our requirement with the increasing population. So, the paper in because earlier all the paper even the large integrated paper mills they used to have the capacity of 100 to 200 ton capacity. So, that was the um, but just to meet the demand of the growing population number of and to for better economy and just to promote the industrial development number of the mini paper mill came and they started the paper mill using the agro based mill without any recovery section. So, this is the non wood raw materials are characterized by as I told the high silica content is very high 1.5 to in case of the rice start at the maximum in case of the bamboo also it is although it is the for it is not coming the agro based but bagas is also coming silica, but in case of the wheat star that is 4 percent. So, that is that is the reason why we prefer um, more wheat star for pulping than the your rice star. Most of the silica present the raw material passes into black liquor. And so, the presence of the silica in relatively high concentration create numerous problems in the chemical recovery as I told you earlier also what is happening we will have to evaporate, we have to concentrate the black liquor and we will have to um, go for higher concentration of the weak black liquor. That is the requirement to have the better efficiency of the chemical recovery section. So, how to get? Because the here they are having the tennis property. So, requirement of the more dilution was there in the smaller paper mill for the recovery the black liquor. So, these are the some of the in so, evaporator more silica highly viscous and so the how to uh, concentrate this black liquor. So, additional requirement was there or if you are feeding at a lower concentration then definitely whole economy of the furnace that is going to be affected. Lime kiln operation that again if the silica is going more. So, lime kiln operation that will be adversely affected by presence of the silica. So, the earlier what happened the work on the just to remove the silica from the bamboo and the straw black liquor before it is going to the evaporation and so they remove this um, silica by carbonation and uh, the process that has been developed by central pulp and paper research institute Saranpur and some of the IITs they also did work on the um, Desilication of the your black liquor.
So, this is the actually the problems which I told you due to the high silica content of the agriculture is the recovery of the chemicals from agro basements have caused major concern in Indian paper mill. And so, this was the actually one of the reason because the conventional recovery furnace, conventional evaporator, they were not sufficient to meet the requirement to have the better economy of the um, chemicals which are getting through the recovery. So, black liquor from the cooking agriculture residue has high silica content and cannot be concentrated to high solid content which we are able to achieve in case of the hard wood or the soft wood or the bamboo that we are doing. And so, burning that is the problem. Although the technology are available and being practiced in many mills in other part of the world, however, due to the poor infrastructure, still recovery of the chemical is not being practiced. Actually, the now the and that is been mandatory. So, the most of the mills which are not using, they have closed the mills, they have closed the using of the agriculture residue, they have shifted to the um, waste paper base. So, this is the typical concentration of the so silica that is very high in case in the black liquor. These are the actually the typical composition of the black liquor that we are getting. So, because you see the here organic and inorganic, these are the two important constituents of the black liquor which we are losing earlier that was going to the drain and the organic in the form of the lignin. So, that created, if you see the, if you are having 100 tons of the integrated mill based on the bamboo, hardwood and the 100 tons of the agro based. So, pollution load in case of the small paper mill that used to be around, you can say the 3 times more than the uh, integrated paper mill. So, that is why the reason why the, why the uh, recovery of the chemical and new technology, various technology that has been developed and these are the some of the technology that for the recovery of the chemical, rotary roaster, roaster come smelter in, uh, because even that problem was there in case of the bamboo when we start, uh, we are having the high silica content. So, some of the mills even Andhra, I remember the Andhra paper they are having the rotary roaster, some of the mills they start with the rotary roaster uh, for their black liquor and rotary come roaster come smelter that was actually uh, suggested the, these are the other type of the co-plant. Some of the emerging technology in the wet cracking, chemist process, thermomechanical conversion reactor, super critical wet oxygen process, direct castration process, ABC process, direct recovery or the ferrite process. Uh, actually, you see the in case of the fluidized bed soda recovery system, where the weak black liquor contain high silica content is concentrated to about 45 percent in the multiple evaporator, venture is covered and cyclone is sprayed in the fluidized bed combustion system. And so, the that can be used in case of the small paper. This is the fluidized bed, uh, actually the reactor that is for the feed and this is fluidized bed and then the finally the product we are getting. These are the some of the processes that is being used in case the recovery of the chemicals from the recovery. Ferrite process or DOS process. And the 30 percent concern of the black liquor bond with the ferric oxide uh, at temperature, this is the temperature and so the sodium ferrite and the sodium ferrite with again reacted the water you are getting the energy to get back. Yeah. So, this was the technology that was suggested. Then wet air oxidation that is also one of the technology that has been uh, suggested for the oxidation of the organic matter. And then the ultra filtration reverse osmosis that has been also tried for the concentration of the black liquor to the higher concentration. But again the same problem was there in case of the membrane process that the choking of the membrane and the cast of the membrane and the, that was the actually the initial stages of the implementation. So, the lab work and the R and D organization did a lot of the work for the, on the ultra filtration, the reverse osmosis. Already uh, now in the sugar industry, we have gone for the uh, your membrane process for the 
he spent uh, he spent was which you are getting but here actually the problem was there because of the sulfur compound copeland process this is also the fluidized bit reactor that we are getting bkmi process where 35 to 37 percent in the evaporator last two effects falling field because as i told you the earlier also even the wood base or the bamboo base uh, or the large integrated pme they have also gone for the additional effect uh, along with the 5 to 6 effect falling film the evaporator and because of that they are able to concentrate to higher concentration than what it was possible to achieve in the conventional processes so this is the one of the smelter cyclone evaporator 18 to 20 percent evaporation the multiple effect evaporator and 50 percent the cyclone evaporator that's two marks recovery section similar to the smelter cyclone burning of the black liquor after desalination one of the uh, this not salination but desilication uh, actually the you see the in case of the black liquor the gasification which we discussed during the now they have su suggested the gasification of the black liquor after removal of the silica that can be also done just to go for the recovery of the uh, these are the some of the references that you can go there So, we discuss about the recovery of the chemicals from the and so the recovery of the chemicals because you see the now the most of the mills which even are having the less recovery means um, 85 percent recovery they have just gone for the new recovery furnaces so that the efficiency that is increased and recovery furnace. Uh, so that was the one in the development of the recovery plan. Another development in the recovery uh, section of the recovery of the chemical that has been the introduction of the following film operator which has been implemented in all the paper mills just to improve the and another thing that we can do in case of the just to have the better efficiency of the recovery of the chemical that is the better washing to add one more stage so that the we are getting the black liquor which normally used to be 10 to 12 percent we can increase to 15 to 16 percent so that will help in the again overall economy similarly in case of the agriculture residue which was considered that is non-economical but sometimes we will have to compromise with the cost with the environment also so just to reduce the environmental load definitely you will have to go for the black liquor or the recovery of the chemicals and so that is the reason why now the, you see the already in the bagasse based mills they are having the recovery furnace they are doing the recovery of the chemicals only the problem has been in case of the um, white white uh, wheat star wherever, wherever you are using and so already some of the mills many of the mills which are very large mills larger capacity uh, mills based on the agro base in india they have gone for the recovery plan and they are successful although the any new development is not free of the problem but they have added and they are uh, recovering the chemicals but efficiency definitely in case of the agro based recovery furnace in comparison to the your other integrated army based on the hardwood, bamboo and the softwood that is lower that is the one of the major constant and just will have to think of the improving the efficiency as we have been achieved 95 percent in case of the conventional recovery furnace used for the black liquor based on the hardwood and softwood and the bamboo so these are the some of the things that has to be but in the future all the agro based paper mill definitely they will they are now we can say that they are based on the 
recovery of the chemicals because now um, environmental standards are becoming so and so constant that the stringent that will have to go for the recovery of the